So welcome to Totally Integrated Instrumentation. Today we're going to have a look at the um, compact field unit from Siemens, which is a Profinet to um, Profibus PA plug and produce device. So we're, we're on the hardware config screen here for, for uh, PCS7. And down here we have the compact field unit. And I've deleted out of the project the device connected to um, FB1. Now I know that I could look through my sensor list, and so I know it's a Siemens magnetic flow meter and it's a profile 3010 card. But the beauty of having the compact field unit in PCS7 is we get this readback option. So if I click on this, it can see that this channel here um, is a flow meter with a totalizer and one analog input. So it's already read that from looking online. So I can apply that to my project. And I can see here now that I have my um, flow meter with a totalizer. Now, if I want to add control, this is where um, looking at the generic GSDs, you might think this is all you've got. So if I go to my um, compact field unit, And have a look under my profiles so I can see that it's picked a, um, a totalizer if I have a look through my list there's a totalizer and you can see here um, that I could delete this totalizer control and upgrade it to one where I can do resets and that is a standard uh, profile specific functions so you don't have to have the manufacturer GSD for that so I just need to compile that and download that uh, because the compact field unit supports configuration in run that's configured my device I can go online now to see if it can see that I come back down to my compact field unit I can see here that um, that flow meter is online. Uh, the beauty of this, which we're going to do as well, is I can change that for another flow meter. Um, as long as it's profile three or above, it will communicate to uh, this memory location. You can mix on the same card. This, this device here is using a manufacturer specific GSD and this one here is, is using uh, a profile specific GSD so I can have a mixture on the same card so all I need to do now is to put that into my project um, in the usual way using the mon analog block and bringing the data back I'm not doing anything else to to, to, to bring back uh, the diagnostics from the instrument um, that's all done via uh, PDM and it's uh, an offline configuration. So if I have a look here, I can assign my device. Now it's automatically tried to pull in a profile specific EDD, or well, you don't have to use that. So I can see that it is actually, it's actually found the correct EDD. This is not the GSD that the, the PLC or the automation station uses to communicate cyclically. This is uh, a second channel, if you like, that is used to, to retrieve the diagnostic information from the instrument. So, okay, I don't have to do a compile or a download. Um, just do a save on my project. And if I want to open up PDM, so double click of that device and then to go online I can just read the process values I can see that that's online 
and I can see everything is being updated quite nicely within my, my values so healthy instrument there's no flow at the moment uh, simulation is disabled and the status is good so there you have it a um, little bit about PDM at the end just wanted to make you aware that you can still use generic GSDs it gives you great flexibility on your sites you can keep everything standard and then PDM does all the work for you diagnostically in the background so thanks for listening I uh, hope you found it useful and please tune in for future videos thanks a lot